Hi guys, how are you? Craig here from Out There Touring. Welcome to another episode. Just before we start, shoot off, go to the fridge, grab yourself a drink, sit back on the lounge, make yourself comfortable. So, just a quick little overnight trip. Uh, I've come out here to the Wadigans, 40 minutes from Newcastle, 40 minutes uh, Central Coast, New South Wales. So on my way to the Pines campground, I have stayed there once before, but I didn't film it. There's two or three campgrounds nearby, and one of those being the Basin, which was an episode a few weeks ago. So if you're new to my channel, um, thank you very much. Thanks for joining, thanks for watching. If you are new, I'd ask you to go back and have a look at a few of the other videos I've done, just so you get a bit of a feel for uh, the content that I'm producing. Leave comments. My subscribers and the viewers uh, from overseas, you're blowing my mind, like, thank you. Uh, please leave a comment, let me know where you're from, where you're watching. Uh, I, I love that. Any ideas, any cook-ups you want me to have a go at, just leave a comment I'm no cook I'm just making this up as I go there will be a cook up uh, tonight which will fire this episode or probably coming on Tuesday night anyway guys I've got a few more kilometers to go it's the start of April school holidays or Easter holidays uh, in the next couple of days so I'm hoping it's not too busy down at the campground and daylight savings has finished and I have left it till mid-afternoon to come out here. So I'll quickly get to camp, get set up, get the fire started and I'll get straight into cooking preparation just so I'm not cooking at night time like one or two of the last episodes. Okay, so as you come in, you go past a, uh, a campground, uh, a large picnic area slash campground and there's also a sign just back down the road um, the basin campground which so I'm not sure if you can see it but the sign just down there on the right hand side uh, that takes you down to the basin campground so I'm going to turn off here and hopefully it's not too busy in there Right guys, I've arrived at um, the Pines campground. It's not the same one I stayed at last time, so this is new to me. I might have stayed at the near the picnic area last time. Um, so, first up impressions. It's got a drop toilet, it's plenty of garbage bins, there's plenty of fire pits around. There's plenty of space, but it is on a downhill slope, so Level spots are a little bit hard to find. Um, you are down a fair bit. 
in her range sort of thing. So sun will go down really quickly. It's only um, 10 to 3 in the afternoon and I reckon we've only got about another two hours of sunlight. There's only one other car here so I'm assuming it's going to be a quiet night. But I'll give you a quick little run around. I've just uh, taken the car for a drive so you probably got to see it there but we'll just quickly show you where I'm going to set up, what it's like here and I'm almost going to get straight into the cook up just so we don't run out of daylight. Sorry about the glare of the sun. But that's the road in. I came down that road there. Drop toilets, plenty of garbage bins. The access road down a bit further, which I'm taking you down. And I've pulled up in the middle here. Uh, there's a First preparation. But. Cheers, guys. Hope you uh, enjoy. So, just about to undo the awning, and kings are getting some reviews that they do have water in them which I can confirm anyway I'll continue setting up There we go, camp set up, ready to go. This is a really nice location. Um, the other car that was just parked down the road, or down the campsite, he's left. So I've got this whole area to myself tonight. It's midweek, it's quiet, um, and it's not that far from home. Again, there's so many destinations that are available to us that are at our back doorstep that we just don't get out and see. So just take that time, get out there and just enjoy it. I mean, how nice is this? So, anyway, you'll see, I've got the fire going, I've got the Dutch oven on there, I've got a cook-up coming uh, Tuesday night's episode, so keep an eye out for it. I won't spoil it now. Uh, it is a serious trial, trial and error cook-up. Uh, anyway, I, I think it's an, an Australian thing. I'm not sure if it's an overseas thing. But I put a, a camping twist on it from the standard that we get served up at pubs. We'll see how it goes. The sun's almost going down. It's, it's only 10 past four in the afternoon. Probably got another hour and a half of sunlight. Um, the difference with daylight savings. It's incredible and I'm guessing the temperature will drop off here fairly quickly. Cheers guys.
go and grab yourself another beer or whatever you drink and um okay so i just thought i'd take you for a walk from camp or from where i've set up i did the drive through it sort of covered half of it i was down the bottom down there and then i came back up and pulled up into that site there's plenty of space here you can find some level or almost level ground looks like there's a tent only sort of area just in the middle there in the bottom corner so I'll, um, I'll, I'll just head off and try to find another track I think let's just see what's down here it sounds like there's running water Might be a little stream, like a little creek. I've got my um, new hiking shoes on. So well equipped for this again. <laughs> One thing I love finding is just massive trees or trees that have fallen or been been lopped and dropped by somebody over the years. It's just beautiful, like just absolutely beautiful. Just imagine how old that tree is when it was standing. Right guys, the, um, the cook up timer is on. Probably, maybe only just two bourbons in this one. Got the, uh, got dinner in the Dutch oven off to the side. Uh, tonight is a bit of a hit and miss, I think, but we'll see how it turns out. I think it'll taste all right. It's just whether I get the presentation that I'm hoping for. So I just had dinner. Success. Uh, I'll go into that on Tuesday night with the video going to release on the uh, camp cook-up. Look, this is beautiful out here. It's quiet midweek. There's nobody here. Um got the fire going over there, just had dinner, got some music playing in the background, which I've turned off so I don't get copyrighted like I've done in the past. Couple of drinks and just relaxing time. Morning guys, how are you? So I had a bit of a sleep in this morning. Uh, been awake for a bit over an hour. Just doing a few little things, starting to clean up camp. But I figured I'd uh, quickly come for a walk down here. It's just on eight o'clock. So yesterday I took you on a little walk down uh, on the southern side of the campsite and seen a bit of running water. And if you look at the, the fall of the land, sort of falls away to the eastern side of the campground. So if there's water running in a gully over there, I can see just the way the trees are falling, there's a gully on the western, um, sorry, on the northern side as well. So if we follow that, and we follow the way the car park or the camping ground goes, I'm pretty sure we're gonna find water at another point. And let's see uh, what we can find. I've got the um, hiking shoes on again. Got a new pair. The uh, last pair had a blowout. So I can hear running water. And can now see some as well.
just follow this path and see if it leads to where both those little creeks might join. We found a little fork. Oh. And a pool. So we've actually got a few creek beds. We've got one coming in this way. That little waterfall over there, which is the, the creek line that I've just followed. And then the one down the far end, which is the creek line from yesterday. Radio. So there are a number of tracks that lead down to the water. So I've just got on another one heading back towards the camping ground. Um, I'm going to start packing up now. It's just a light sprinkle. I want to get camp packed up before the actual rain comes in. I'll share that with you as well. Just do that as a time lapse. And then, yeah, we'll grab some more footage on the way out and try to find some other campgrounds for next time. Right guys, that was just um, a couple of little campgrounds, which are only like 200 metres off the turn off to the Pines. So it was uh, Casarina and Turpentine. It's easy access, it's not hard driving, um, so I highly recommend for everybody. There'll be a spot somewhere out here, there's plenty of campgrounds, there's plenty of spots. Leave a comment again, let me know what you think. And if you've got any questions about this location, send me a message and I'll get back to you. Don't forget to uh, press the subscribe button and that little bell just to uh, give you a notification there's another video out. On that point, there will be another video on Tuesday night and that'll be last night's cook-up. Cheers, guys. Travel safely. Thanks for watching.